Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to my review for Obi-Wan, the new Star Wars um, TV show on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I'm going to say season one because hopefully we're going to get a season two. There's already some murmurings out there that it may be happening. Now I did a review of the first two episodes, I think, um, of this series, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And it's a six episode run in total. So it's a bit like a mini series, I suppose. Now, my impressions after the first couple of episodes were really, really positive. I think I scored it a nine out of ten. And I was very, very hopeful for the remaining four episodes. And I'm delighted to report to you that I have nothing but praise, if I'm honest, for this show. Um, I am aware that there was certainly a, quite a lot of negativity around this show from so-called fans of Star Wars, um, moaning and griping about all sorts of little things here and there. Uh, you know, that the show wasn't about Obi-Wan, it was more about this other character. Um, and uh, honestly, um, I think... It's typical, I think, of social media, the internet uh, today, people judging a show based on a couple of episodes. And if they'd have just waited for the full six episodes to run and then judge the show, maybe they would have felt differently. Because I think there's probably a few people out there feeling a little bit silly now, moaning and complaining that the show was more about uh, Inquisitor Reva than Obi-Wan Kenobi morning about the fact that Obi-Wan Kenobi was underpowered and all this kind of stuff and I mean gripe after gripe after gripe really not enough Hayden Christensen um, so on and so forth well I think the show balanced everything out beautifully by the end of its six episode run and I have to say I was incredibly delighted with what I saw and it, it made me feel excited to be uh, a fan of Star Wars once again um, I think so much i don't like using the word but there's so much toxicity around this franchise over this last decade or so um and you know okay we can argue here and there about where what its strengths and weaknesses have been this last decade or so but i think they've absolutely nailed this show i thought ewan mcgregor was pitch perfect once again as obi-wan kenobi um i thought he had actually a fantastic arc in the six episode run you know, right at the beginning, you saw him demoralized, accepting almost of the Jedi's fate. and he's, he's pretty much given up, only he's just kind of an outside observer like with Luke sort of thing. And then when he's called into action to rescue Leia, who's been taken to draw him out of hiding, I think we saw him slowly once again grow as a, a person and a Jedi but also gain his spirit back by the end which I thought was really wonderful and I thought Hugh McGregor did a brilliant brilliant job um, to real play his character with some real dignity and I thought he was absolutely fantastic I do think as well props should go to Hayden Christensen who obviously, you know, got a lot of slack for playing uh, Anakin back in the day and all this kind of stuff. But he's come full circle now and we're all delighted that he's back playing Vader. Um, and he gets his absolute moments to shine. Uh, there's a great scene with him sparring with Obi-Wan back in the Clone Wars days. Um, and the final face-off between him and Obi-Wan in Episode 6, I just think was one of the best things I've seen in Star Wars full stop, never mind just this series i just think i mean star wars full stop it was epic it was fantastic and he got his real moment to shine i just thought it was absolutely brilliant and i thought episode six was flawless absolutely flawless um a fantastic way to finish um the show and got us all really excited yes i know because we got that incredible cameo at the end and if you don't want spoilers guys you know i'm trying not to give away spoilers but you know it's out there you can watch the show now um there is a cameo at the end of episode six where we see liam neeson coming back as qui-gon as a force ghost uh appearing to obi-wan which i just thought was absolutely beautiful fantastic moment for star wars fans um and i just thought Disney have made some errors in the past in regards to fan service. I think they overdid it 
in the um, sequel films. Uh, to some degree, I think that debate is certainly out there to be had. I thought they nailed it here. I thought the balance of bringing back, you know, some of the characters from the prequel films, like Jimmy Smith's and others, blending that with new characters, I actually thought Inquisitor Reva, played by Moses Ingram, was a really good addition. Um, her arc, I think, was fantastic as well. The fact that you think she's this evil Inquisitor, in actual fact, she's a youngling looking for revenge against Vader wonderful stuff i thought that was a really really good storyline really gave this character some real complexity and it really really worked so i was really really happy with the the arc of this show i thought the i thought they nailed it i thought um the action was really good um the sense of frustration early on in regards to obi-wan and his his lack of uh, force ability almost the fact that he couldn't or didn't want to, or wasn't tapped into the force properly early on in the show, just really, really worked. Um, and I just thought the arc that he gave him in this show in regards to him um, rediscovering the force and him using it to full effect in episode six was just absolutely brilliant. And there were some real standout moments in this show. Um, I thought... It really, really did stand out, and it was a very, very strong addition, I think, to the the Star Wars franchise overall. I personally would be really, really up for uh, a second season of this. I would love, love to see more. Um, yes, you, there's a debate to be had in regards to it. It's kind of messing with the lines a little bit. It's getting a little bit murky here and there, but I can live with that, to be honest if it means we're going to get more of these fantastic characters. So I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you. I will be back, obviously, with loads more content and reviews of the channel very, very soon.